<laughs> Any of you that know me, uh, nothing seems to be short with this when it comes to me. It's always, you know, <laughs> on and on and on and on. Especially if we're talking about Jesus, because, I don't know, I kind of like it. <laughs> Maybe you don't. <laughs> Maybe you're bored stiff. <laughs> Suffer. <laughs> but for me, I just enjoy talking about Jesus. So every opportunity that I can, if it's, you know, switching sets or switching the camera around or just spinning it on its little dias, because I have like five, four different shots from right where it stands right now, that uh, if I get an opportunity, you know, to share more about God, then I'm thrilled. It's like, <laughs> Cool. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should have been a pastor. Oh, I could have been a doctor. Oh, I could have been a V8. Oh, well. Such as I am. What I wanted to do, though, was we had started, you know, bringing up this uh, navigator's study that I hadn't done in so many years. I mean, I was like, gosh, when I got saved. And uh, so I picked up the books again, you know, and I was going to use them for my wife, you know, and she's going to, you know, kind of do a home Bible study. And we may still go with that. You know, we're probably going to do that on our. Bible study night. We're going to consistently have a home Bible study. You know, one night where we have a home Bible study. Now, what night that'll be? Nah, we're still working on it. It's kind of like mm -hmm. she doesn't want to do it, <laughs> and I want to do it. So I was like, <laughs> you know, because the reason why she doesn't want to do it is because she wants me to teach, and the reason I want to do it is because I want her to teach. So we're going to share and trade off, and you know, maybe people come over and we'll kind of mix it up. But anyways, we're going to have a home Bible study, you know, on a consistent basis that night, and you're always invited, you know, come on over anytime you want, you know, there'll be food somewhere, <laughs> we'll make something, crackers, <laughs> bread and butter, bagels, hummus, anyways, and going through this, we're calling this series um, Bible Schooled, because we're going to actually do a formal textbook style study, it's regulated, um, dogmatic, it's precise, it has a very good teacher's manual, it has everything that you could possibly want for a teacher in it, it obviously was designed by teachers, because <laughs> when it comes to organization, you know, it's like, I like to organize things, but man, somebody else's organization, I'm like, eh. you know, but it's cool, you know, I mean, because then I can speed read things really fast, you know, whenever something's organized, I can speed read. So. The point being is that we're going to go through this, and it has so much wonderful information. It's actually using the Growing in Christ series. Um, it's a 13-week course for new and growing Christians. And what it does is that it does the same thing that we did in Bible studied in the five assurances, but it takes it from there, and then it goes beyond that. Is that it uses a formal setting in this book for the leaders that helps you to develop possibly as a teacher as opposed to a expository person, you know, which just sits there and tells everyone what to do. But it helps you to develop some of the school, some of the tools that you need in order to become a teacher that inspires people to learn. Because I know that there's this idea that somehow Calvary Chapels or, you know, the Chuck Smith ministry things, that that's somehow a teaching ministry. Well, not really. I mean, if you're honest about it, there are a few Calvary chapels that teach. You know, they have a teaching ministry. Most of them are preaching because it's one person standing up, expounding the Word of God. So it's an expository statement, but it's not teaching. It is dictating what that person has learned, and then you either evaluate it and get ministered to by the Holy Spirit and by the assumption of the combined conglomerate of all the people there that are joined together in one spirit, then you learn by way of the Holy Spirit teaching you. So, in a way, you could say it's teaching, but in reality, it's kind of like, you know, trusting the Lord to take care of that part, because you're just listening, you know, and just hearing the word, and that's basically it. So it's it's cutesy to say that it's teaching, but, yeah, you know, if you're a teacher, you know better, you know, I mean, you, you kind of put things together, A, B plus C, you know, and then you let the children or the adults or the whoever you're teaching go to D, E, F, and G, because you want them to go out, like Jesus did when he taught them, he finally sent them out, you know, he sent out the 70, you know, he said, send them out in twos, and he said, go into every city, don't take purse or coat or cloak or whatever, you know, but go preach saying, kingdom of heaven is at hand, and before you've gone around taking that, I'll be there, 
what he was really doing was he was sending them out as front men because they were going to become his uh, promoters, you know, and they were going to promote that. He was coming to those towns, and he kind of followed around, went right through those towns. Most people don't kind of gather that, but that's basically what happened, <laughs> is that first he sent them out, you know, and then he went right behind them, you know, and gave massive teachings. And um, if you want to track that down in history, you can probably find it, you know. It's kind of, I was one of those kind of people that kind of looked at it that way and found all kinds of information. So anyways, in teaching, this is called the 2-7 series. It's from Navigators, 2-7 series, and you can find it. Um, it's very cheap, if I remember right. I don't even know if this one was purchased or if I just found it in a used store, but it's been around forever. And they have all kinds of neat little things. I just found a response card that you could send into, you know, the 2-7 response card. But um, they have, you know, like all these different uh, tools in the back that you can use, you know, for your Bible reading guide, you know, outlines, the things that was your Bible reading highlights record, you know, what translation, what year, uh, best thing I marked today, reference thought, how it impressed me, you know, things like that. Um, because you're going to get to that when you go through this study. And that is a 13-week class. So I want to introduce you to that thought before you even try to get involved with Bible School 101. Because Bible School 101 is 13 weeks for sure. You know, is that we're going to go through 13 solid weeks of, I'll call it, I'd like to call it Sunday School, which I might do. But anyways, we're calling it Bible Schooled. So that way, you know, you kind of get a Bible School effect, you know, and you realize that it is a class that I'm presenting information, but I'm also teaching, because I am teaching with a formal book being used and a formal plan that has been lined out that may not be the way I would normally do it, but is the way that they recommend doing so. By way of giving you an example to follow, this is the only time you'll ever, ever, ever hear me say, follow thou me. <laughs> Follow thou me. <laughs> do as I do. <laughs> and as I say, woo, hey, I like that kind of idea. Man, I might so get some power here. <laughs> woo, feels kind of good, you know. Follow me and do what I say. But the point is, is that it is based upon, and I'll just share with you, it says, from the Growing Strong in God's Family under Session 1, under Page 7, reading it, it says, Outline of this Session, Session 1. One, get acquainted with other members of the class. Two, read how Growing Strong in God's Family came about, page seven, and general comments, page eight. Three, learn how to make your Bible reading exciting. A, use a contemporary Bible translation or paraphrase. B, study how to mark your Bible as you read, pages eight and nine. C, study where to read in your Bible, page nine. Four, complete the reading and marking exercise, page 9 and 10. Five, look over the beginning with Christ explanation and five short passages you'll be memorizing, pages 10 through 13. Six, read how to memorize a verse effectively, page 13. Seven, read the assignment for session two, page 13. And eight, close the session in prayer. See, there's an outline. So what we'll be doing is we're going to do like I just did. We're going to actually read it, do it. I'll try to, now that I think about it, I better go out and make photocopies. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember reading that. That was pretty good in, in uh, Tyranny of the Urgent, Session 3. I forgot I did this before. <laughs> oh, well. Wow, we're good out of the eight. But we're going to because it's a video, for you to learn how to do it, I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to read it, I'm going to exemplify it, I'm going to present it, and then you could use it, if you're willing, to look it up on the internet and find the materials, or maybe PDF file or something, if not, buy it, if you want to, you know. I don't say you have to, because you can usually find these around free somewhere. Um, then I would say, you know, you don't need these videos, really, for the 13-week series to go through, but since a lot of you are not going to do the series and you probably want the information and to learn something the easy way by, you know, kick it back sitting at your home, you know, with popcorn, you know. Now I'm getting my Bible study in. That guy's telling me it. 
you know, which is okay. I mean, I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying that, you know, it's a classroom that's a video series, so you can do whatever you want to do. In video, we believe in being real. So, you know, if you're sitting there with a six-pack or you're sitting there with popcorn or you're sitting there, you know, with a suit and tie, you know, shirt, and you got your notebook out and you got your Bible out and you got your, you know, outline, relax. <laughs> it's not that serious. God knows you, so it's okay. Loosen up the tie a little bit, you know. Take a calm pill, you know, kind of quiet down. You don't have to amp up in order to do this study. We're just going to be a classroom, a relaxed classroom. Kind of like the ones if you ever went to driver's ed where you were mandatory to go because you'd done some kind of infraction and you got to go to driver's school and the teacher says, now look, I know none of you want to be here, but, you know, we got to go do this information, so I want to present it to you. Well, you know, you might get a kick out of this. You might have fun growing strong in God's family. And the reason why I picked this is because it works. You know, I uh, know for a fact it does. I know for a fact that it's a very concise, precise, um, insightful piece of information that really works. The only thing that I've ever seen that was better was designed by a man up in Klamath Falls, Oregon, that uh, had taken a little booklet and made his own little presentation and basically went through how... Um, he welcomed people into the church is that in order to be a member of his church it was a people's community church in order to be a member of the church was that you had to go to these luncheons with the pastor you know and you would sit down literally and he would go he would give you a book you know it's a little outline book and it had a scripture and then it had questions under it and you would answer it and then he would go over it with you that way he and you were on the same page so to speak identifying if there were areas of weakness, so to speak, on conflict or what you didn't, you know, necessarily agree on, and then you'd pray together, you know, and you'd have a meal, and then you'd go home, and it was really cool. <laughs> I mean, it was like the best Bible studies material discipleship thing I ever saw in my life. His name was Jim Sheridan. You know, he kind of later on in life because he kind of went off on a tangent. You know, people don't give him the credit where credit was due, but at the time that he was involved in this community church, you know. It was dynamic. It was one of the most powerful things I've ever seen. And I plan on writing one myself and making it available after this 13-week series um, and after we do uh, what's called Christian Life Study Outlines. So I want to go through that to show you another format in Bible schooled in how to present you know, discipleship materials that you can use from study Bibles. But eventually you're going to get to my way of doing things <laughs> if you stick with it and it might be in a, a uh, series called Bible Discipled you know where I, I actually go through my own material that I wrote you know and designed specifically to get you where you want to go as fast as you can as quick as you can by way of the Holy Spirit taking you to the place where you need to be in order to get on with what you got to do in order to be with God in order to have a personal relationship as fast as you can because you don't have much time left. <laughs> Did you get that? In other words, if you were really good, you could stay up night and day and get done in three days. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, don't go there. So really, what we're doing is that we're working on this. This is the introduction. That's all you're going to get for an introduction. We're going to go right into it, the next uh, Bible schooled 102. Or, yeah, 102. And so... In closing, I guess I would say that it's up to you what you want to learn. I mean, no one can tell you about God. God has to reveal himself to you. You can be given the tools, you can be given the environment, you can be given the means and the opportunity, but ultimately the only way that you're ever going to grow or know God is by way of you yourself learning from himself by his spirit teaching you because no one can force you into learning something it's just going to be head knowledge and you're going to forget it as fast as you turn on the tv or you flip on a radio or you put the earbuds back in you know and you start you know tuning me out but you can experience growth in a phenomenal way if you're willing to take in this particular study home uh, bible school the Take the dogmatic step-by-step, line-upon-line 
precept upon precept. Don't go out of order. Stay in order. Go A to B to C to D to E to F to G to H to I to J to K to L to M to N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Aleph Bed Dalet Gimel Hai Hey Vav. <laughs> Never mind. You're not going Hebrew. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Alpha Omega. Ta well, anyways. the point being is that if you dogmatically go through things like that, you can regulate your mind and begin to acquire certain skills that are going to help you in order to study and not be deceived. Because on the one hand, you can do things certain ways, you know, and you kind of, you know, you get away with it. But on the other hand, sometimes you need a solid foundation so that you can build your own exterior around the core framework that doesn't fall down like in a windstorm. This study will give you the framing of a solid foundation so that you can build your house so that it will withstand all the storms of life that will come upon it. I guarantee it. I can personally guarantee that within the first five you'll have it down, but within the 13 weeks, boy, you'll be master of the universe. <laughs> you will be well Bible schooled in order to not just have been received it, but you'll be able to teach it to someone else because that's the point of why we're doing this. We're not just teaching it for you to learn it, we're teaching you to be a teacher of it. And that's why we're gonna take the extra time to go through the teacher's manual side, as well as the student's side, so that you will turn around and make your own video, that would be nice. You know, Then I could sit back and watch and laugh and go, look at him, <laughs> kinda like you're doing. But no, really, you could go out and do Sunday school. You could teach anyone. I mean, it's an adult study, but you could believe me, the kids could take this. And you could teach adults, you could teach kids, you could teach your family, you could teach your wife, you could teach, well, maybe not. Husband, no, maybe not. You could teach anyone you want to, and you could even do a home Bible study off of the 13-week studies of Bible school. So this will be something that you can use very practically, very purposefully, and very quickly become well acquainted with becoming a man of God or woman of God that is fully equipped and been given all the tools they need in order to fulfill the Great Commission that says go out and teach all nations, making disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now you know if you don't you know you don't have to go out and baptize really. All you gotta do is dunk them and spunk them, you know, and they're fine, you know, hold their nose if you want to. If not, just put their head down, you know. <laughs> put them in a sink, put them in a bowl, I don't care. <laughs> Pour water over top of them. Believe me, it's a little overrated, the baptism part. But anyways, you know, <laughs> sorry. We'll get into that some other day. But the point being is that, you know, you were making disciples. You were teaching if you take these tools and use them to bring someone into a learning process where they can learn on their own. And they are given the groundwork as well as the structure and the capability to become a follower and a teacher of Jesus' teachings himself that the Word of God would be sharper than a two-edged sword, able to divide asunder the marrow from the bone and the flesh from the spirit so that they would begin to reveal the heart issues that are inside and that there would be a sure foundation so they would never be deceived, but they would always walk with God from the moment you taught them, even as I'm doing unto you. God bless you.